Jessica Ennis here at the Manchester Arndale Centre promoting the Great City Games for 2012. You've done the event before. Mm -hmm. What brings you back? Um, I think it's just because it's so different. It's not like any other event that I've done and um, obviously it's in the city centre which is great. It brings in a different crowd and it's always a good competition for me so I'm looking forward to it this year. And what events will you be hopefully competing in on that Sunday? Uh, the Hurdles, um, that's the event I'll be doing this year. I um, had a really great race last year. Unfortunately it was a bit wet and rainy but um, yeah, no, it'll be a great competition so I'm really looking forward to it. Brilliant. It's the start of a really busy outdoor season, isn't it? 2012 Olympic year. Feeling in good shape? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with um, the way I am and the way training's gone in the past few weeks. So, um, yeah, looking forward to starting the season. Outside of sport, let's look a little bit into Jess Ennis, the person, the lady. <laughs> Describe briefly for us, Jess, your diet, for instance. Any particular group of food that you like or you eat a lot of? Um, other than chocolate, <laughs> um, no, I'm, I obviously try and you know, balance my diet as much as, can, as I can. Um, I'm training hard most days, so it's making sure that I'm getting on enough carbohydrates and protein so that I recover and adapt from training. Um, so they're the two main food groups, I'd say, that I have um, most of the time. But when you're going into a competition, anything you have to cut out that you desperately miss? Um, I do kind of cut out a few of the sweet things, so I try and limit the amount of chocolate I eat, but um, I have definitely got a sweet tooth, so I try and sneak a little bit in every now and again. If you weren't one of the best heptathletes, multi-eventers in the world, what would you have been? Um, I, I'm not sure. I think I would have still gone to university and studied psychology, so I probably would have gone to more lectures at uni and done something in the psychology field. And being a super whiz athlete, um, does it prevent you from doing anything that you would like to do? Um, I suppose just all the kind of fun things like going skiing. Uh, I'd love to go skiing one day, going on holidays at different times of the year, not just in September, um, just things like that. But um, obviously you do get to travel loads, so it's not too bad. I got asked this a lot when I was running. Tell me one surprising or interesting fact that nobody would know about Jessica Ennis. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's nothing that interesting. You have a lovely uh, dog. You talk yeah. sometimes about your lovely Labrador. Yeah, I've got a lovely chocolate Labrador. Um, something that I don't, most people might know this now because I've said it a few times, but I used to play the trombone at school and the cornet. We didn't know it, we do no, now. We <laughs> Female figures, Jess, that inspire you inside or outside of sport? Um, I don't know if you've heard of Kath Murray, but she's an <laughs> inspiration. <laughs> um, I don't know, it's really hard. I think, obviously, in, in athletics, there's you know, all the greats, Denise Lewis and Kelly Holmes and people like that that have achieved a lot. Um, with an ice ball. <laughs> what music do you listen to, Jess, when you're competing or otherwise? Um, mainly like R and B, hip hop. So I like a lot of Jay Z and Kanye West and Drake and Nicki Minaj and things like that. Let's finish on the Olympics. Or we have to because it's such a big year. You looking forward to it? Excited? Yeah. Is I that am... a stupid question? No, no. I am. I'm really looking forward to it now. I am. I'm nervous and anxious, and it's just not knowing what's going to happen. But. Um, I am, I'm definitely looking forward to it now because there's no other you know, major championships before then. Um, you know, we've talked about it for a number of years and it's always been, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, but I've got you know, the Worlds coming up or the Europeans. Um, but now you know, the next big one is the Olympics, so I'm, I'm getting excited, I'm getting ready for it now. And finally, engaged to be married, a family one day, a little Jess Ennis is running around that your coach Tony Minicello can potentially pick up and coach to medal winning glory. <laughs> It'll be way too old then. <laughs> Um, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. When I've um, you know, achieved all I want to achieve in athletics, then yeah, some little Jessica Ennis will be plodding along, hopefully. <laughs>